of course, we're talking about the idea of a utopia and the idea of a general shift in the consciousness. Because all, for, first, we start answering your question is you, you have to educate yourself. And if you go online, if you go on YouTube, and YouTube is a great teacher, and you type in benefits of orgasm or benefits of masturbation, and you start to listen to all these amazing teachers, and then you're going to find like a list of different uh, positive uh, things that masturbation uh, and having orgasm in your uh, it offers to your body from having a better skin from hair growth from being able to sleep from uh, creating chemicals that act, uh, fighting cold and flu and cancer and dead cells so uh, balances your your hormones balances uh, your depression you discover all these things so the number one thing I would say is educating ourselves because there's a lot of misinformation and a lot of us they're operating from lack of education so this is science and it comes with facts and and proven evidence so that's the number one thing we need to do by educating ourselves and then objectively looking at things like yeah every time I talk about sex or even at this age if I want to masturbate and there's the very very first thought comes to my mind uh, that is the shame and guilt and where does that come from? Why, why all of a sudden there's a moment that I feel ashamed or guilty? Where is it coming from? Which is very well connected to, yeah, being a child and your parents have told you or your society or you heard it from here and there. Or if you went to the, ch you were going to the church or the mosque, they told you this is bad. Well, if it's bad, why is it the number one industry on the internet? How could that be? Why so many people are surfing online and looking at pornography or looking for sex workers if it's bad? Why is it the number one industry? And if it's bad, so why is it being used to produce human beings? How could nature create something if it's bad that you have to have sex to have children? So how, how could it then, why did nature produce this? So, as I mentioned, first you have to educate yourself and reprogram yourself to recognize this is a deep, deep, screwed up conditioning that we've been conditioned. We're completely hypnotized by this. And look how many issues we end up having because of this. And then, you know, you go deeper and then all these other hypnosis, like marriage, like getting married. And a lot of people think, okay, once I get married, I'm going to have sex. Oh, yeah, then my problem with sexuality is over and I'm going to get it. But actually, it's the other way around. Most probably you're going to have sex for the first two, three years. And after that, you're not going to get it anymore. And I, I believe that's my discovery. 
that most of my married friends are very, very sexually frustrated. And when I'm asking them, are you getting it? They're not getting it anymore. They actually hate each other. So obviously marriage is not the question to it. And if that was the question, why people get married and then they're having affairs with other people. So, so the whole system is wrong from the beginning to the end. It's almost, um, there seems like we need to, um, as we move towards uh, 5D and our consciousness raises, then we'll, we'll be able to, I'm not talking about those of us here being involved in with you, obviously we wouldn't be here if we weren't in some way there. But I'm talking, looking at the, the world in general, all the things you mentioned, which are absolutely true and horrific things go on in the name of sex. Um, but it's almost like, like what's the chicken and what's the egg? We almost need the higher consciousness to see the, the, the beauty and the greater. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to right. say? It's hard to come from down here to up here. Yeah. I get, the users, but we yeah. see time. Right. I mean, that's just on. So how do we deal with the reality right. of life as now and contribute positively towards that, towards the education of that, I guess. Yeah, because, you, know. you start with yourself, always. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you, you start with yourself and to free yourself from this, from this bondage, to free yourself sexually from this false idea and, and the shame and the guilt that's been literally injected into you from the very early age in life and you try to free yourself from that so that's how we start and collectively slowly slowly as this is shifting and it's raising to a higher consciousness which you know requires another wave uh, because it's not something one person can do. It comes as a wave of a general consciousness that, of course, it all falls into the divine will. And uh, when the time is right and the new wave comes and all of a sudden humanity as, as a collective, it starts to slowly wake up to itself all the old systems need to be be uh, put away, like even the marriage. I'm, the this whole idea of uh, about a couple get married and they live together and happily thereafter. It's a hoax. It's it's just an illusion. Look around you and see how many divorce divorces you find and look around you see how many happy marriages you find truly they're happy and I'm not saying that people don't get married and they don't stay together happily thereafter it does happen of course it's a it's that that is a possibility in life because life expre expresses itself in all different directions. So that happens too. But the marriage union is a failure. It's not working. Maybe it works for a very, very small percentage of people on the planet. But as a whole, it, it is a failure experiment. And it's another brainwash. It's just not working. So it needs to go. What happens is, yeah, when the couple come together and they have children, children should be growing up in the village. 